Stephen Colbert devoted the majority of his monologue to the sexual harassment allegations being made against Les Moons on Monday night's episode of The Late Show, but also found the time to take aim at a former Fox News host. There's also allegations against somebody I don't work for. Because last week we learned that Kimberly Guilfoyle allegedly left Fox News amid accusations of sexual misconduct, said Colbert, referencing a HuffPost story that was released last week. So that's where we're at. Yeah. The best news of the day is that women can also be guilty of sexual harassment. What a trailblazer. You go, girl. Colbert then detailed the allegations being made about Guilfoyle by her former co-workers. Dot you go. Seriously, 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 you should go. According to multiple sources at Fox News, Guilfoyle's behavior included showing personal photographs of male genitalia to colleagues and identifying whose genitals they were, said Colbert. Which is horrible workplace behavior and also the least popular edition of the board game, guess who? Ever played that? Yeah. The segment then took a bit of a turn when Colbert began to speak about Guilfoyle's current boyfriend in a manner that the host and his producers would unlikely do, were this a story about a man showing photos of female genitalia. And this story becomes way more interesting when you know that Guilfoyle is currently dating presidential son and man reacting to his girlfriend's photo collage, Donald Trump Jr., said Colbert. Which means, and brace yourselves for this, there's a chance Guilfoyle was forcing people to look at Don's. Jr. Colbert then added, I hear the carpet is as gelled as the drapes. Six sources said Guilfoyle's behavior included showing personal photographs of male genitalia to colleagues and identifying whose genitals they were, regularly discussing sexual matters at work, and engaging in emotionally abusive behavior toward hair and makeup artists and support staff, reported Huff Post in its story last week. Lawyers for Guilfoyle did not respond to a request for comment about that story, but did provide a statement to HuffPost. Any accusations of Kimberly engaging in inappropriate workplace conduct are unequivocally baseless and have been viciously made by disgruntled and self-interested employees, said Guilfoyle's lawyer. During her lengthy and decorated tenure with the company, Kimberly was beloved, well-respected, and supportive of anyone she ever met. It's utterly preposterous that there are those who are nefariously and greedily twisting innocent conversations amongst close friends into much more than what it actually was for financial gain. That statement went on to read, Kimberly has happily moved on to the next chapter of her life and hopes others will do the same. The news of Guilfoyle's departure came from Fox News, who released a brief and concise statement. Fox News has parted ways with Kimberly Guilfoyle, said a spokesperson for the network. At the same time, a Fox News source had told DailyMail.com that Guilfoyle would not appear on The Five that night and get to say goodbye after 12 years at the network. That was then confirmed an hour later when The Five kicked off with Katie Pavlik filling in for Guilfoyle. Guilfoyle had long been one of Fox News's most loyal and dedicated employees. She was often one of the first and most vocal supporters of any co-worker or boss who is maligned in the press, having publicly gone to bat for both Roger Isles and Bill O'Reilly at times when few supported the men. Those two were eventually let go by the network and with the departure of Megyn Kelly, Greta Van Susteren and Gretchen Carlson, Guilfoyle became one of the most senior female members of the Fox News family. She is now working with the pro-Trump PAC America first, four months after she started dating Donald Trump Jr. In the past few months, however, she has been getting more and more press for her life outside the office thanks to her relationship with Don Jr.